I'm Diego Ruiz Casas, I'm a vitro-retinal surgeon from Madrid, Spain, and I work at uh, Ramon y Cajal University Hospital. I've been using the EVA system for the last one and a half years uh, in my private practice. Uh, since I work in different clinics, I have been able to use the different surgical platforms currently available. And uh, the EVA platform is a really complete platform. You can perform uh, cataract surgery, you can perform vitro-retinal surgery, and of course you can perform uh, combined phacovitrectomy surgery, which is my most common approach in vitro-retinal cases. Apart from complete, the EVA system is pretty adjustable. I mean that if you are a surgeon that, you, uh, that I use, to, that is used to, to using the peristaltic pump or, or that is used to using the venturi pump, you can adjust the, the pump the way you want. And uh, you can set the perfect parameters in each step of surgery and also in each, in, in each uh, gauge. The BTI pump is uh, of paramount importance in the EVA platform. Uh, it combines the best of two worlds. It, it's a, a really fast pump, like venturi pumps, and uh, it, is also, uh, it also allows you to control the flow, uh, like peristaltic pumps, but without the, the drawbacks of peristaltic pumps, the drawbacks like uh, the, the flow pulsation due to the compression of the tubing. That way you can perform central vitrectomy uh, in vacuum mode, and you can detach the vitreous in vacuum mode, and you can perform a really safe uh, vitreous uh, saving under low flow, mode and then you can change again to high vacuum or high flow uh, to perform anterior vitreous based uh, dissection. Flow control is directly related to the sphere of influence. The sphere of influence is the area around your cutter probe that is uh, where any tissue is going to be attracted to it and, and that area depends on flow. That way, if you are using the, the flow mode, you can control directly the sphere of influence. However, if you are using a venturi pump, you have to adjust several parameters. You have to adjust your cutting rate, you have to adjust your duty cycle, and you have to uh, adjust your vacuum. And you are never sure wha uh, what uh, flow are you really getting. That's why it's extremely important, because it gives uh, Sergeant complete control, and he feels much more comfortable. Uh, safety in the in the EVA is also increased by the fluid compensation and the valve trockers, which don't leak. So you don't have hardly ever have uh, any eye collapse, and that makes surgery safer. TDC cutters double the cutting rate. So if you are using 8,000 cutting cut, uh, cuts per minute, you are really getting 16,000 cuts per minute, and that uh, improves surgery because uh, the more cutting rates you have. The, the less is the real viscosity of the vitreous because you remove it in little chunks and it also makes the flow much less turbulent and that way the flow is much more controlled. Well, the duty cycle of the TDC cutters is constantly 92% no matter how many cuts you are using. With the TDC cutters the flow is continuous and that is uh, of, of paramount importance when using a small gauge uh, uh, cutters. The combination of TDC cutters with flow control allows you also to use the cutter as a multifunctional tool. You can use it at scissors, you can use it as forceps, and of course you can use it, use it as a really efficient uh, vitrectomy probe.